Hey, ever wonder how the magic of physical therapy can transform shoulder pain right before your eyes? Today we are diving into the world of an MDT McKenzie course, showcasing a live patient demonstration in the minutes. Meet Karen, who has been battling shoulder discomfort for more than two months. But there is the twist. The key to relief lies not in the shoulder, but in the cervical spine. Follow this till the end. Three baselines based on Scarin's history, the Hawkins test, the horizontal adduction test, and a modified knee test. Observe Karen's range of motions and limitations and showing the pain in the shoulder. Afterwards, I took the baseline of the cervical spine, where you observe an apparent painful and limited retraction and extension, irritating in her shoulder and her arm. The rotation and the lateral bending produce slightly pain in the neck region. I started in the most obstructed direction with repeated retraction movement, which produced more pain in the shoulder, even in the arm, which kept it worse. It was not a good direction to explore further, so I took the next step based on the MDT algorithm of the traffic light count. I asked Karen to repeat side bending movements towards her painful side. The pain worsened in the arm during retractions seems now to centralize in the right scapula after 10 repetitions. No pain in the arm anymore. So I checked the baselines of the shoulder. The Hawkins test and the horizontal adduction are now full range and pain free. And there is no limitation of the range, uh, no pain provocation of the knee test anymore. When you, when you look now the cervical extension moving, it still produces a little pain spot in the midline of the spine. So, what do you think now? I'm very happy to respond to your comments.